Okay, guys, in 225, we're going to make the water heating tube. Okay. Uh, go ahead and go to File, New, right, English Unit, Standard. Make sure you're in the right project. Okay. Go ahead and hit Create. I'm going to go ahead and Sketch. Go to my XY plane. Start off with the Line Command and then go to your origin. We're going to go right on the, along the X axis here. Distance is going to be 1.81. Okay. Go ahead and right click and click OK. And what we'll do is we'll get back from that line command. Just hit the space bar and, and you'll get right back into it. Go straight up, okay? And that distance is going to be 1.95. Right click, click OK. And then uh, hit our line command, go back into, we're going to hit space bar, take a little time. And then this distance is going to be, again, 1.81. Okay, uh, notice our constraints. This is perfectly horizontal, okay, so everything uh, per or, uh, parallel, that's going horizontal, all right? Um, we don't need this line anymore. You can actually click on it, right click, and hit, del hit delete. Don't need that line anymore. That's just it's kind of a guideline for us. Next, we're going to go ahead and hit art. Start at the top, pick, and then go to your bottom line, okay? And then just move your mouse out to the left until those... We want those tangent symbols to show up. You see them? That's what we want. Go ahead and click and right click, click OK, and we're good to go. All right, go ahead and finish sketch. And I'm going to make a new plane at the end of the, the top line here. So click plane. You're going to click one, two, three. OK, now you have a new plane. So you click right on the end. So you hit plane and then do that. Go ahead and start a new sketch right on that plane, and we're going to make a circle. The diameter for this circle was 0 0.37. 0.37. Right click, click OK, finish sketch. Okay. Again, everything you need is right here. Okay, so there's where I got that 0.37 point there. So that's section two. Go ahead and hit uh, sweep. It automatically hits selects my profile and then the path is going to be um, what we can take. Okay. Next, we want to make that little tapered section top here. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, we're going to utilize one of the planes that we can't see. So what you do is you expand this origin folder, right click on X, Y plane, and then hit visibility. Okay. And then what we can do is we can make that a sketch plane. So hit sketch and then pick on that plane. We're going to go ahead and use our line command. We're going to start from the midpoint of this top end here. Okay. You're going to go to the right, and that distance is 0.25. And then you're going to go straight up. Zoom in a little bit here. You're going to go straight up, and that distance is going to be 0.31. Uh, check that. We'll get this. There's 0.13. Let me do that. Yep, that's it. There we go. Uh, go ahead and close that out. Uh, right click, click OK, finish the sketch. Now we should be able to evolve this now. So we're going to go ahead and go to evolve. There it is. Uh, after that, sorry, I hit the wrong axis. Evolve. There's my axis right there. And then hit OK. Here in section two. Beautiful. Next, we're going to go ahead and do a sketch on this plane down at the bottom. Go ahead and make a circle. We're going to make another circle. Um, we could have actually just done project geometry. You can do that as well instead of making a circle. You click project geometry, click on there, and there we go. So now we have another circle. We're going to extrude this. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. We haven't done this yet. You have to select new solid. Otherwise, all this is going to be attached. We want new solid because we're going to thread the end of this. So hit new solid, and then the distance is 0.5. Okay, go ahead and hit OK. All right. Let's see. Um, depending on the order, I mean, uh, we can shell this right now if we want to, or we can do our thread. Let's go ahead and do our thread. I'll show you guys how to do that. So you hit thread, and what you do is you pick on the uh, outside of this, and look at that. Um, it sets it all up for you. So it gives you the diameter. It gives you the uh, 
the designation will be the diameter and then how many threads per inch. That's what that 16 is for, 3 to 16, okay? Um, important, you want to make sure that's full depth design, okay? So it looks like it is, so we're good. Um, next, you should have a plugin called Cool Orange at the top. It's a little tab, uh, top middle. Click on that, and then what you do is you click on Thread Modeler. Next, you're going to hit Thread 1, okay? It should be on your browser right there. And you, you'll notice that this pop-up window, um, something fills in with this table here. Just go ahead and hit OK, and the thread's cut. Now, it's not, like, prevalent, but when we do our drawing, okay, they're going to show up. Let me show you guys. You see that? See how you can see the threads there, okay? But before, you wouldn't have been able to see those. Next, we're going to go ahead and um, apply our shell. So, click on shell, and then what you do is you just pick the, uh, actually, we want to change the thickness to 0.05. Okay, and you pick the end of this, and then you pick the end of this, and then it should go all the way through. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see if we take a look at that. I have to be very attractive to this. So I might have to shell this separately. Let's make sure it's even. Take the shell here. See, see through it okay so it's important when you do that shell command you pick the end and then the end okay then you hit okay and then you have to do the end and the end